final group to look at are functional group isomers. Now, functional group isomers have the same basic molecular formula and a similar um, arrangement of the carbon skeleton. The difference is that there is now a change in the functional group. So something that we were naming previously, we've changed that name now. So let us uh, have a look at something like um, one hexene and cyclohexane. So this is, this is a new kind of a compound that we haven't looked at before. Um, so let's have a look and see how this particular one would come together. So hexane has six carbons. Oops. One, two, three, four, five, six. So hexene has six carbons and uh, it has three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve hydrogens. So the formula for uh, one hexene, so you can see um, the double bond is on the end carbon. So I'm going to just slightly change the name here to hex one ene. And uh, when I draw it, I'm drawing it like this, three, four, five, six. Uh, for saving of a little bit of time, I won't put the hydrogens in, but every time I have a bond that's not actually already showing that it's bonded to a particular type of atom, they're all gonna be hydrogens. Um, so this is my hex-1-ene molecule. Now what I wanna do is I wanna create an isomer. So to create an isomer, I can't add or subtract any atoms but I also want to change the functional group. Now this time the functional group is a double bond. One of the simplest ways to turn an alkene into an alkyne is to actually um, break this bond. And when we break this bond, we can create a, a cyclic structure. So what I'm going to do is in breaking that bond, I need another hydrogen in one place and I just connect that so it's now a ring structure. So you can see I now have a ring structure which is a slightly different structure. It's also got no double bonds so it's no longer an alkene. The fact that it's in this kind of um, circle type arrangement it looks more a little bit like a, a hexagon the way that I've uh, constructed it. Uh, but the fact that it's in this ring means we use the prefix cyclo. 